So some years ago, I visited the States and arrived at an airport and was astounded to see a sniffer dog looking for fruit and vegetable. So I thought, well, if a dog can smell fruit and vegetables, what about could they smell people infected with malaria? We know from some of our previous studies that when you have malaria parasites, your order changes. So the parasites somehow manage to manipulate the body to, to change our body order. And we know that because we've seen that with mosquitoes. So we know that mosquitoes can be more attracted to people when they have malaria parasites than uninfected uh, people. And that's all to do with chemicals being produced by our body that mosquitoes can detect. So we thought that perhaps dogs might be able to detect the same chemicals. Well, at Medical Detection Dogs, we've been training dogs over the last 10 years to, to detect a variety of diseases through the, its smell. We've trained dogs to detect cancer, Parkinson's, and we train assistance dogs to work alongside individuals with life-threatening diseases that change from minute by minute so dogs warn on oncoming acute episodes. The way that we collected the orders from children was to use nylon stockings. Um, now nylon stockings are actually very good as a matrix to collect volatile chemicals. They hold on to the chemicals really really well and they last for a very long time as well. So we actually got the children to wear these nylon stockings overnight and then collected the socks the next day and, and put them in the freezer, shipped them to the UK and then shipped them to medical detection dogs so that they could then train the dogs uh, on the sample. So it's incredible to think that these dogs can detect the malaria parasite infection by sniffing just a little bit of a sock that an infected child has worn. Training a dog to find an odour is, is like a game to the dog. So the dog understands that if it finds the odour it's trained to find, it will get a reward if it, if it sits there and tells you it's there. Equally, the dog is taught that if the odour isn't there, and you reliably and accurately say it isn't there, you'll get rewarded for that as well. So it really is a search and find game. But in time, the dog becomes very, very accurate and very reliable and is able to discriminate the particular disease you're training the dog to find. So increasingly, attention now is on elimination of malaria. And so some countries are now malaria free or close to malaria elimination. And it's really important for those countries that they prevent resurgence of malaria so therefore it's very important to detect people that are carrying malaria parasites so what we're thinking about is that these dogs could be used at ports of entry for identifying people that come into countries either through an airport or seaport or road port i think the potential of this is only just starting and i'm very excited that we're actually now moving forward showing that dogs hold the answer to so many diseases that have been difficult to diagnose over many centuries